After maxing my normal account a few years ago, I made a new IM as a joke. Now I am addicted. No banking, no trading, and no brain cells left. This is my experience on the path to the infernal max cape. Welcome to my UIM Locked series. Hey, welcome back to UIM Locked. In the last episode, I did some Slayer, I made an Anguish, and I did a bunch of Warlamore stuff. Now I want to get back to my goal of 93 Slayer, which is the last requirement for the Achievement Diary Cape. This is one of the big milestones before maxing. One of the things I want for Inferno is higher prayer level. So I decided to do this Dagnot task at the Dagnot Kings, since I have the Fremenic Elite Diary. This perk makes it so the bones from the Dagnot Kings drops loaded, and I don't have to worry about running out of inventory space. So for this task, I wanted to relax and not have to think about tribriding, so I called up my best friend Molly Music, and she joined me to DK's. Hey Molly, boo! You scared the shit out of me. I forgot you were in here in the call. <laughs> I was using my Tebow for Prime and my Blade of Seldor for Supreme, and she was on Rex duty. To be honest, it is more fun playing with friends. Come on, Tebow. Oh god, I'm gonna die again. Do I risk it? <laughs> Molly, I risked it. I'm stupid. Oh. System update is Did happening. Did you die? Potato, what have you done? Potato. Oh my god, potato. <laughs> I'm sorry. <Wait. laughs> Don't get your shit quick. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm an actual fucking this. moron, guys. I'm sorry. I'm an actual idiot. I mean, there's a good chance it'll be fine even if you don't get your shit before the update. It's just a very risky <laughs> thing to do. This is definitely my new favorite prayer training method. It's just so convenient and risk-free compared to the Wildly Chaos Altar. How much XP was that? So this, this was bones from one DK strip. 71k prayer XP from one DK strip. Another task completed and no Dragon Warhammer, but we are only about 3000 KC in, so it's not really deserved yet. For most of my Slayer tasks, I use the same kind of gear setup. The Crystal Legs, Slayer Helm, Ring of Suffering, Barrow's Gloves and Guardian Boots almost always stay equipped. I then change the top, cape and weapon depending on if it's melee, range or magic I'm using. I also sometimes use proselyte if it's a very prayer heavy task, but changing out too much means my inventory gets very cramped very fast. So doing it this way makes Slayer feel a lot easier, even if we don't have that much space. Next task, gargoyles. I decided to try my luck at the grotesque guardians. I don't really need anything from these guys, but they do have a pet on the drop table and I am a sucker for pets. Uh, for those who's never done this Slayer boss, to unlock it you need to get a key from regular gargoyles first. So you can unlock the uh, the room. And it's located all the way at the top here, up here. One hour later. I ran out of amethyst darts and decided to finish the gargoyle task on the regular mobs. Alright, we're almost done with this little stack here. I wonder how much XP that was actually. Let's check our fletching XP here in a second. And there we go, 7208. Hey, not bad. 151,000 XP in fletching. Not bad at all. Let's see what we have in these boxes. Well, that was easy. Armadillo plate body. And whoa, and an explorer's backpack. Explorer's backpack. It kind of looks like the forestry backpack from Wish. Not gonna lie, it is what it is. <laughs> Dora, I'm Dora the Explorer. I'm going to Walmart. We got another Lizardman task, but this time there's a little twist. There it is! Oh my god, we didn't even get the pop up because we're killing Lizardman shamans. No! 93 Slayer! Oh my god, it's done! The last requirement. Got sad I didn't get the pop up, but that's fine. Kill Thermo Nuclear Smoke Devil. Does not require task for this one. Let's go and fucking get it. Okay, let's go. Pop the fuck up. Please, Salablade. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You're all I have. It's not doing damage. I did one hit. Oh, God. Oh, another hit. Oh, we got a hit. I just need one kill here. Come on, one more. One more hit. And there it is. Ha <laughs> ha! Soul roots, it's fine. We take it. Hey there. 
Can I get a cave like yours? I see you've completed all the achievement diaries. Well done. However, you need to free up some space. Oh shit, she's judging me as a UIM. That's fine. That's okay. I can I can take that. Here's the money. And it's trimmed. Oh my god. Look at that. Damn! <laughs> okay, that's so good. Dude, it kind of goes with my fit though. I kind of look kind of sick. Dude, I look good. Oh, I love this cape. If you've never seen it, look, it has all the teleports to all the achievement diary people around Gelanor. It's such a good one. We have now achieved one of our goals that I set at the start of making this account. Now we can focus on the Max Inferno Cape. The next skilling goal is slowly moving towards 90 base stats while getting ready for Inferno. But I somehow managed to hoard myself into a corner again. Oh god, please help. I'm realizing now that I have a hoarding issue on a UIM. <laughs> What is this inventory? <laughs> okay, okay, next stream. I Next time I go live, we will clean up this mess, okay? We'll clean it up, I swear. I decided to put my ancestral hat in my POH. We'll be fine rocking either the Slayer Helm or the Helm of Nates' Nod in the Helm space for now. As an Ultimate Iron Woman, you won't be able to withdraw this item again until your store complete said, including items you don't seem to own at present. So we cannot wear this hat again until we have ancestral top and ancestral bottom. Goodbye. Where is it in the house? There it is. I'm not wearing this again until we have the top and the bottom. This could take anywhere from now until two years from now. Three years from now, we don't know. We'll see you again sometime. It will be safe in there. As you can probably tell by now, I do like doing clue scrolls when I get them. So I managed to snatch another elite clue from a crystal impling that was just wandering by. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed these little clue segments that I put in between the grinds. Three, two, one. Hey, we got something. Look at that. Oh my God. I look so fucking cool. Here is the cleanup plan. We chisel the gems, we use up the mahogany planks at mahogany homes, we get a lot of secondaries for the herbs, minus the torsoles, and then we make all the potions. Sounds good? Great. Alright, what are you guys up to? Oh! Whoa! I didn't know I was that close to a level! 90 crafting! Holy shit! Onyx amulets redwood birdhouses. Would you look at that? Another 90! How far are we off 90 base now? Two construction levels, one prayer, one smithing, four agility, and two herb lore? Oh, an attack, two attack. That's pretty close! <laughs> Okay, who wants um, 11k in magic potions? <laughs> I'm putting putting them here on the floor. Maybe someone wants them. <laughs> Three, two, one. Ah, oh, it's a bronze dragon mask. The believers, the believers are so good today. So good. <laughs> Now for my next PVM goal. I want to get back into the chambers of Seric to look for the deck scroll. This scroll unlocks rigor and will help us a lot in the future. To see how this goes, check out the next episode. Also, let me know down below if you have any tips or tricks for me. If you have enjoyed my little UIM adventure, consider subscribing and leaving a comment. Or someone will peek at you and steal all your money. You can also find me streaming all of this content on twitch.tv slash potatohime.